right. Blessed with another brilliant camera angle as per. The lights are on ahead of us for the Silverstone Sprint in the full wet conditions. It's lights out and away we go. Not much grip for the start of this race, especially not for those who didn't get any heat into their tyres off the start. You already see people dropping down positions and people already retiring from the session. Good potato trying to hold. I think that's probably the right thing to do, but I'm not sure. Here comes Gazelle on official JE. Gazelle on the intermediates, looking down the inside on the hangar straight. And into the veil. Oh, no, sorry, why am I even on a moat? Into Stowe. Doesn't get the move done. Back around the outside goes official J into, into the veil chicane. These two still going at it. And through club down the inside. There is contact. Official J E nearly gets spent, sent spinning around. Closer and closer. The wet tyres obviously not uh, not working well for the Alpha Tauri. Losing it through the corner a little bit. Barely holding off. Page. Yeah, that's what I was thinking as well. I can't believe he started on the inters and down the inside goes Page. Now around the outside. At Luffield. Oh, nearly contact there. And down to Cops they go. And Page Tech must have backed Coys up. Or maybe Coys isn't getting close at all. Page gets a time penalty. Totally no pro. Goes to the right hand side of the track. And in to Stowe. He gets the move done. I mean, the Alpha Tari driver is going to keep it there. And down the inside into the Vale Chicane. Might be able to get back past him. No, he's not. Totally no pro standing his ground. But back down the inside through Club. Is there a move? A slingshot, maybe. That run down to the Veil Chicane. This is it. This is the last attack he can really launch. And I think he's just a bit too far back. We're right on board with the Ferrari driver. Into club and on to the Hamilton straight. He did his best, but it wasn't enough to beat Gazelle, who wins the sprint race and is on pole. Coys is rounding the corner. He'll take P3 on the track, but his three-second time penalty will mean he's actually starting fourth as JE is just too far back. Lucas will round the final corner. He's starting sixth. JLB seventh, but gets demoted to eighth. And Katet takes his place. And he gets demoted to ninth as well. Mikhail jumping him. And Rayner, this is not what the defending world champion wants to see. He's already struggling so much, and he gets a five-second time penalty for an unserved penalty at the end. Is that going to drop him any further? I don't think so. Look, I mean, it could. Let's see. Good potato crosses the line. Finishes P11, so no. But that's not what Reyna wants to see at all, and the reason why is because, well, not only is his champion... On the grid, ahead of this Grand Prix... The lights are on ahead of us for the Silverstone Grand Prix. It's lights out and away we go. Looked like a pretty balanced start from the two front runners, But totally no pro. Jumps the Ferrari driver and is up into second straight away. And looking already to get past Gazelle. Totally no pro will get past Gazelle. Down the inside. Hard tyres, no problem. Lee Scrippy of the lot doesn't affect his dive bomb driving style at all. He's already up into first. Holy Page down to fourth. He's been overtaken. And that looks like it's Mike Klein who runs really wide there at the back. Official J un JE under a little bit of pressure. Totally no pro is not in the clear yet. As around Luffield they go. Filtering through that kind of hairpin section. Coy's fifth. Gazelle. Hunting down after the Mercedes through Cops. They go on the run now down to Maggots and Beckett's. Possible strategies. If you start on the softs, you're going for a two-stop. If you start on the hard, you're going for a one-stop. That is pretty self-explanatory stuff. Um, here's Coys putting Holier Page under all kinds of pressure. And on to the hangar straight on the run down to Stowe. He might be looking at a move. He does look at a move down the inside. 
The McLaren driver, it's bold, it's brilliant, and he's up into fourth place. Catet, not really in on that battle at all. Let's have a look at Reyna, who's dropped a 12th off the race start. Not good for him. And Coiz has spun around. Coiz has gone around, totally no pro. With a, a comfortable lead over this first, like, Klein and Snatch. Getting feisty into Brooklands. Here comes Mike Klein around the outside. It's a great move. And he gets ahead into Luffield. JLB is looking to pick up any scraps left over. Seem like anyone gained from that run at all. DRS open for the Alpha Tower driver. And he goes flying down the inside. And he's ahead into Stowe. Someone, someone to uh, overtake, which is Joyston right around the outside. Again, this is unbelievable from Mike Klein. Uh, Mike Klein, if he gets this done, but he can't. And Snatch has just gone off the inside. Like name, like nature. Snatch, two positions in one corner. Unbelievable from the Alpine driver. There's contact and around goes Lucas. He resets to track. I'm not even sure if that's in the uh, league rules. He gets DRS, but katet has got the DRS as well. And around the outside, Katet down the inside into Stowe will get the move done. Is he able to keep the move, or will there be some lunge into, veil, into the Veil Shapu there? But he's going to get DRS, and here he comes on the championship leader. Down the inside, into Stowe, gets the move done and dusted. But it's not over, because here comes Totally No Pro. Around the outside, through the Veil Chicane. That is a brilliant move from the Mercedes driver. And now Katet is looking to get past JE. And he will, onto the Hamilton Street. He... Is up into second. JE was first. It's down uh, the Wellington straight and down the inside into Brooklands. It's going to be Katet who takes the lead of the race. Around Luffield, the mediums are faster than the hards. And Katet, well, was ahead. But you can see in the mirrors there. Around Cops they go. JE has just got past. Totally no pro, so the DRS. Helping everyone except for Totally No Pro because he didn't get any. And now JE is coming back at Katet through Maggots and Beckett's they go. How close can the Alpha Tauri driver stay? He can stay very close. He's going to have a lovely run down the hangar street. He's going to get DRS. Is he going to move to the right? Is he going to move to the left? It's the right hand side. He's going to get squeezed by the house, but it's not enough. And down the inside he goes. And he's back up into first. Well, we're back where we started. Totally no pro. Is he going to send it into the Veil Chicane? No, he thinks this is a great train of cars. And the, both of the Alpines have just swarmed the Ferrari. And they've both gone for blood, but it's only Mike Klein who gets through with it. This is an unbelievable battle up top. Katet now putting the pressure on the Alphatari of official JE. But I think JE can actually carry more speed. I think he's got a better line. Oh, but he was twitchy on the rear end. This is going to prove costly for the Alpha Tari. Katet's through. Here comes Totally No Pro. Can he get the move done? He moves down well around the outside. Snatch is going to go. And he is probably going to get that move done. We've watched Totally No Pro into Veil. No move there. Everyone just staying as they are. Snatch has not been able to take the position yet, but through Club. Onto the Hamilton straight. There's contact. Is he going to go through? Well, we have to flick away. There's a bit of a gap forming between JE and Totally No... But all is good there. Maybe a little bit of a battle going on. JE getting past Dirty and Gazelle looking to get past JE, but it's not quite happening as they go through Brooklyn. Well, the battle picks up right... And is well, under all kinds of pressure from Gazelle. Gazelle squeezing him to the side of the track. He's more like about... Probably like five, five seconds, six seconds, five seconds, something like that. Only a page. Going down the inside, getting the move done. This is an incredible battle, but back comes official JE. Not quite happening there. Feeling no throw up to fourth, and it could be up to third. He does. He's managed to clear all of them down the hangar street. Oh, no, he's not. But is they going to go all down the inside? I was brave. Onto the Wellington straight they go. 
He gets DRS. He's on the inside. They're wheel to wheel into Brooklyn's. Who's going to come out ahead? I think it's going to be Snatch. He snatches the lead from Katet. And now Katet has got to do everything he can to try, to try and stay within touching distance. The battling. But the battling is really clean. Right, here comes Katet to retake the lead of the race into Stowe. He's sent it. The Alpine of Snatch is keeping it around the outside. Snatch on the inside line into the Veil Chicane. But he runs it very, very deep. Round club. He's going to push Katet wide. And Katet just not able to go through. I think Katet was just, he just needed another person to go through. Right, Katet is going to get him on the Wellington straight. Then it would be through goes Hamilton all over again, imagine. If no pro was closer, that'd be crazy. Well, it still could happen. These two, he's under all kinds of pressure from Paige. Down the Hamilton straight, they go. And there might be something happening into Abbey. No, surely not. The Ferrari driver wouldn't go for that. And there's Coise in the background. Coise is going to go through down the inside and get that move done. In brilliant. Has reeled Katet back in. They're going through. Oh, no, it's a spin. The Alpine driver, he's gone around. And this is not what was in the plan for Snatch. But it looked, it looked like it was in the works because he just, he'd been really slidey on the rear. hope here is that Katet can hold on for absolute dear life and not let totally no pro through. But as they start the hangar straight, that is not what happened. Totally no pro back up into first. And Rayner of Dirty, and he's going to get through and past on the hangar straight. Well, hang on a minute. Dirty is running the most ridiculous downforce I've ever seen. DRS and ERS deployment. Mike Klein down the inside. The soft tyres doing their job. But Rayner, he gets through as well. Pretty impressively, he's back up into the points. I think if he can get a point out of this, I think he'll be happy because it looked like before he wasn't even going to score points. <laughs> Uh, here comes Katet though, DRS open for the hash driver, we're on lap 25 of lap 26, around the outside at Stowe, is he going to be able to get the move done? The hash driver has given it everything he's got this race, and the tyres of Totally No Pro are screaming, they aren't able to come, it just gives us a great angle of what's happening, we're on to the hangar straight now, DRS open, here comes Totally No Pro, he's going to get past, so is Snatch, Snatch is going to get past and send it down the inside on Totally No Pro. They could have made contact, but they don't. And Snatch doing that has stopped Totally No Pro from doing anything. Snatch tries it on the inside, but it doesn't happen. And now going very slowly through Club, Katet threw everything at it, but it wasn't enough. Totally No Pro wins the Silverstone Grand Prix. Snatch is third after penalties applied. Coys will round the corner very slowly. I think he might have run out of fuel. Finishes fourth. Gazelle, he must have run out of fuel as well. Fifth, JE, sixth. Lucas will take the seventh, but loses it to... Oh, no, he goes up because official JE had the time penalty, sorry. And Mike Klein, well, he's just in the middle by himself. The softs worked out for him. Now, can Rayner get close enough to the back of JLB? To snatch one more point. He's only got two, three more corners to outbreak JLB. Mike Klein loses a position due to penalties. But then he doesn't because JLB also has penalties. I'm not really sure what's happened there. Um, Rayner finishes 10th and that's the highest he can get. Official JE took me out. What an idiot, says Lucas. I feel like Sergio Perez with the amount of recovery drives I'm having to make, says Coys. <laughs> yeah, Coys, I mean, it, you, were, I, you weren't ever involved with my commentary because you were always just behind that big pack of cars that was fighting the whole time. But, I mean, another great drive from you to win it all. Uh, no, not win it all, but, but win yourself back quite a few positions. To get back into fourth from where you were is a pretty impressive feat. And you don't get spoken about enough, but you do go and do it pretty much every week. 
Uh, so fair play to you, Coys. Earn. Yeah, welcome to the stream, mate. You might as well leave now because we're ending. <laughs> nice one. Welcome to the podium, Earn. <laughs> Good to see you. The Qatar Grand Prix. Yeah, I didn't. I'm sorry. I didn't have time. I'm, I, I'm sorry, but I didn't have time to change anything. I, Yeah, it was all a bit of a, a rush. It was all a bit of a mess um, because of exams and stuff. Um, I, I, I didn't even think I was going to be able to do the stream tonight, but then I could. Um, and yeah, I completely forgot.